Hey everybody, how's it going? I was out picking strawberries today, you know, in one of those you pick operations. And you pay for the gallon size bucket, and as long as you can fill the bucket and take it to your car, it's one fee. Well, as I'm picking, I was thinking, geometrically speaking, would there be a way to optimize your harvest? So, specifically what I mean is, strawberries are basically a cone. And cones can be stacked in such a way that if this one is facing down, there could be one right here facing up, thus maximizing the space. So if we just fill a bucket randomly, here are eight cones randomly scattered, we're gonna get a certain weight. But if we stack them deliberately like this, we might be able to get more weight per volume that makes sense. Now, if you're a mathematical modeler, I would love to see you model this. But, of course, the reality is strawberries are not perfect cones. They're also not all the same size. And so, in a practical sense, if we just try to do this at home, can we see a significant difference between carefully stacked and randomly thrown in strawberries? in regards to the amount of weight we can get for a certain volume. Let's give it a try. All right, to keep things fair, the rule is I have to be able to get this lid on the top. So first, let's randomly fill it with berries. And towards the end, we'll be a little more a little more particular towards the end. Okay, I don't think there's too much more room than that. And okay, you see it's bulging, but that is 1.8 pounds. Now Let's be strategic. So we'll do one up, one down, one up, one down, etc. Okay, lid fits on. One point nine pounds. So it does make a difference. A little bit of a difference, but is it significant? Okay, so the next thing we need to know is what is the volume of this container? And the bottom says 1.75 quarts. So if we had 1.9 pounds per 1.75 quarts, when we stack them carefully, that's 1.068 pounds per quart. And if we look at the randomly distributed berries, we had 1.8 pounds per 1.75 quarts, that's 1.029 pounds per quart. So we multiply those by four, because there's four quarts in a gallon, and we end up with 4.344 pounds in a gallon bucket when they're carefully stacked. We also end up with 4.116 pounds per gallon bucket when they're randomly thrown in the bucket. So that's a saving of about a quarter pound if you stack them carefully. Is that significant? Well, it's about four ounces of strawberries per gallon. So you decide. Now, the other interesting thing on the outside of this bucket, it says net weight five pounds. I think you'd be hard pressed without squishing these really, really hard to get five pounds in a bucket. All right, the more you know.